to Bev from Bothwell, whose birthday is coming up this Saturday. So there you go, Bev. And that was Kevin phoned in, and he absolutely adores Kenneth McKellar. And my love is like a red, red rose. So I dedicate it to Kevin as well. He said it is just beautiful, Scotty. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Scotty. I'm first time caller from Russia. Uh, my name is Victor. Victor, and you're calling from Russia? Yes, from Moscow. Um, I was very, uh, I very liked this song for to just play version of Robbie Burns' song "My Love Is Like Red Red Rose." Yes. I also sometimes did version of this, but not as nice as this one because obviously man has very good educated voice. Yes, beautiful Kenneth McKellar. I will have to look it up Kevin and McKellar. see if I can buy it on one of these uh, sites what is uh, letting the MP3 downloads. And Victor, Robbie Burns is very big in Moscow, yes? Certainly, yes. He was regarded by old regime as proto-communist in his uh, approach, his, his lyric of various kind of, of um, way of doing things. Yes. Uh, so, uh, so he was very popular already with the communist regime, um, but also, of course, he has a certain timelessness about his, his observations. One of what we always say in, um, what we are always quoting in Russian is the poem to the mouse. The, the, the poem to a mouse? Yes, the poem to the mouse. Yes. Where he says, um, I cast my eyes on Prospect Trier or something like this. I can't really remember yes. how it is in the original, but it says something like, I would not want to run and hurt you with bickering brettle. Something like I, this. I and, would be loath to run and chase thee with murdering prattle. Yes, uh, thou need not I, start a war say hasty. Oh, what a panic's in thy breasty. Thou need not start a war say hasty. Wonderful, Victor. Well done, sir. It's lovely to hear you. Are you enjoying Lanarkshire's L107 in Moscow? I think it is. Well, obviously, via the Internet, I can get all the stations, but it was one of your regular listeners who put me on because I was arguing with him in the Skype chat about what will happen to Scotland now that FBI is very annoyed with, um, with Scotland for letting go local be bomber. Yes. And I was wondering what would happen now to Scottish government, whether, whether the FBI will try to stop Scotland from being allowed to be country on its own now and make no, it... No, 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 I, I, I think that Scotland will get the respect of the world. You do think this? Yes, I think this. I think Scotland will get the respect of the world now, actually, you see. Scotland has always had the respect of the world, of course. Well, certainly, uh, our, um, uh, I don't know if you know this, but Lermontov, who is a Russian uh, literature figure, he wrote something called Hero of Our Time. Yes. He was actually of Scottish extraction, Lermontov. Yes, so, all right, yes, I see. So there's, there's sort of big connections across the sea. There are connections. Uh, there are many connections with, with Scotland and Russia. Yes. Apart from anything else, um, uh, it, when uh, Russian people wanted to um, spy, in, in, obviously we don't do it anymore, but in the olden days, when the Russian people wanted to spy on Britain, because uh, we couldn't get rid of the R sound, the, the hard R. The hard uh, R. We, yes, they used to, we didn't be able to speak like English, but we would try to make a Scottish accent, yes. and then... In England, they would simply think that we were Scottish and our spies could get away with much more. Well, thank so, goodness these days are all over now and we don't need to do any of that. Oh, yes, we don't do any more spying on Britain anymore from Russia. This is all gone now. No more of this, honestly. Never again, honestly, I promise. Never again. Any, yes, never again. It's wonderful. Anyway, Victor, anyway, thank what you, do you so think? much. Do you think it will be that it's okay that you got a... Hello? Hello? Yes, you think it will be okay that you did that you let go this um, locker be man? Oh yes, I mean I think the Scottish government know exactly what they are doing, and they have uh, shown a compassion that the locker be man did not show compassion, but uh, they have set an example to the world. Scotland has moved the world forward. Okay, and you believe that this will be most of countries will will come down on side of Scotland, not on side of America. It's absolutely, absolutely, I think so. Yes, I think so. I'm, yes, you don't necessarily go for the big one; you go for the sensible one. I will look and see if you turn out to be right. 
I hope you are really. I hope so. Victor, thank you so much. Hands across the sea and dinky do. Thank you very much. Dinky to you too. Dinky do to you, Victor. There we are. Victor phoning from Moscow, of course. We are an international radio station on L107, and everybody wants a piece of the action. To your telephones, 01698 337